Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Helpful Lockbreaker here, and welcome back to my weekly lock sport update video. This is a fun video series that I like to run every single Saturday to try to serve as a great place for me to update the community on anything that I have been working on, and it also serves as a great place for the community to update everyone on what they have been working on. As always, if you have any updates at all that you would like to see shared next week, please drop those right in the comment section below, and I'd really love to try to share them. I really enjoy trying to bring this community together. This is a really fun video series to do. I do try to do a live stream every Saturday around 4 p.m. Eastern time, but the time does vary from time to time. I'm doing it a little bit earlier today. So, the first thing that I'd like to share right off the bat is going to be what you may have seen in the thumbnail. So, in the thumbnail on my video, I mentioned that I got a new key duplicator machine. So for a while I have been using a code cutting machine which I am very thankful to own and it is just a tremendous thing to be able to utilize. But what I bought is a really cool manual duplicator which I'll bring up for you right here. So what you see in front of you right here is a duplicator made by Ilco. It's the Silka Flash 008 key machine. This thing can cut duplicates so quick. It is like light and day when it compares to how long it takes me to cut a key by code. It's a $500 machine and so far I really really like it. I just got it in yesterday. There was a little frustration which is one thing to keep in mind. I think they were backlogged on making these. My machine I ordered at the beginning of October and I had not gotten it in until just yesterday. CLK supplies was very easy to work with. I did voice my concerns a couple times. But all in all, I want to say that this is a really excellent machine and it can be really cool to use, especially if you use some space and depth keys and you want to start to code cut some of your own locks for a more affordable price. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you a clip of this machine that I filmed on my cell phone. The lighting wasn't very good, but I just wanted to get something up quickly just so you could see this cool machine in action. So I'm gonna roll that clip for you right now. So as you can see, this is a pretty small, compact machine. It doesn't take up too much room. I haven't got a formal setup, as you can see how I have it in a cardboard box right now but this machine is very quick to set up. On these quick set keys, they do have a um, stopper on the back of them, so I did not necessarily need to use the gauge to line it up, but it's just great practice. But here we go. Now, it can cut even faster than that, but it's a little bit hard to do on video when you're trying to see what you're doing but this machine just did such an excellent job and I'm still very impressed by it. So I think that this is a really, really cool thing to own and I'm just so thankful to have it and what a great job it did. So that is my new toy. I just thought it would be really cool to share it with everyone and if anyone's interested in a affordable, new, cheap duplicator I don't think a $500 price tag is too bad considering how much you can spend on going out to eat or doing anything like that. So I think that that was a really cool thing to share. So now what I'd like to do is let's move on to a few of the channels um, from last week. I What I like to do is go back to last week's Lock Sport update and we'll see that we had some suggestions shared last week. So when I go to last week's Locksport update, this is where I like to go to be able to see all of the great um, suggestions for next week. So out of all of these, the only suggestion I saw when I briefly read through this was through Pocket Woman. And Pocket Woman um, was talking about how Lock Mania's Christmas series is a great thing. And I just want to share um, Starry Lock. Um, Starry Lock's been doing some great shout out Mondays. He's a really great contributor to the community, really trying to help share all of these great channels. And another thing I'd like to share on Starry Lock's channel is that 
The subscriber count is almost 1,000. I just want to say that that is an incredible, incredible milestone to be able to reach. And I'm going to bring up Starry Locks channel for you right now. So what I'm going to do is let's jump on over to Starry Lock right here. So when we take a look at Starry Lock, we're going to see that the channel is at 963 subscribers. That is a really, really cool thing to do. Here's the About section of Starry Lock's channel. And then if we go over to Playlists, we can see some of the really great community stuff that Starry Lock has done. One of the really cool things is going to be the shout out video series. Now, not every video in this series is done by Starry Lock, but let's just scroll through and just pick a really quick one so we can see what a quick shout out looks like. We can go to the most recent one, um, the Picking Diaries shout out for Shout Out Monday. So let's click on that right now. It's Starlock. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a regular, welcome back. I'm not sure how much that screen is messing up the video, which I know I can see from my viewer that you're seeing a lot of screen, but this is the look from out of the supply room, the building I work in. It's our inventory room, I'm looking out the window here. Um, today is Monday, and that means Shout Out Monday. And today I am going to give a shout out for a channel that Leon Lockpad gave a shout out to a short while ago and that is The Picking Diaries. If you read his About section, you'll notice that he's mostly, the channel is very aptly named as he's mostly making it as a diary of his picking activity and successes. He currently has 28 subscribers and 24 videos. He has some really nice picks. Some, he's very good at describing what he's doing. So whether he intends it to be uh, for a viewer or not, it comes off very useful in that aspect. I'll put a link to his channel down in the description. A link to the video, both as a uh, card and in the end screen and I'll put a link to the video that you need for the giveaway in all three locations as well. So I hope you go check him out. I, I can assure you it's well worth your time. He didn't have very many subscribers and so more people need to get out there and see what he's up to because he has a great channel. That's all I got for today because I got to get back to work. So take care and we will see you soon. Thank you for checking out Starry Locks. Pretty cool shout out Monday. I Welcome think that that's a really great thing to do and I think that it's something that we should continue to do. Let me just pause this video that's running right here and I just want to say that it is a really cool thing to do and I want to say thank you to Starry Lock for continuing to show your support to the community. So if you'd like to check out a cool channel to show your support to and you could help this channel reach 1,000 subscribers I would recommend that you check out Starry Lock if you haven't already. So what I'm going to do is bring up Starry Lock's channel for you one more time just so you can take a look at it and remember the name and I'm going to pull that up for you right here.
So the next thing that I'd like to share with you is going to be the cool thing I bought, which you'd be able to see in one of my more recent videos that I posted. What I bought was this pretty cool USB microscope. You can use it on your phone and use it wireless, or you can plug it in on your computer. Maybe you can't do it wireless on the computer, I haven't tried, but it works pretty well with the cord. So with this device, you can get a really close up shot. I could show you an example of just how close you can get. I will show you quickly Let's see, hold on. All right, so that's just my hand right there. You can see how close up that is. That's pretty crazy. I think that's a really close up shot and that's pretty cool. And then another thing I can do is I can bring up some lock related stuff. Let me see how close we can get up on the pick that you always see me using. So let me try to get that loaded up right now while I am working on it. Let's see, I'm going to zoom. So this is a manual focus microscope. And I think that this thing's going to be a pretty big game changer when it comes to even being able to do stuff like impressioning. So let's see. So there's my lock pick pretty close up. I think that's a pretty cool thing. And let's see what else we can find. So I'm going to jump back over here. I can get out a spring, which I can try to line this up with, and then we can get a pretty close look at the spring. Let's see. All right, I'm going to get that zoomed in for you right here. So that's a, that's a standard spring. And I just think that this is a really cool thing to do. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with it. And that's really all I have for you this week. Um, you know what could be fun? Let me see if I can get one more thing pulled up for you right here. So what I'm going to do is let's get out a trusty Peterson pick. I really enjoy my Peterson picks, but one thing that we always have trouble with Peterson is this pesky little stamp mark on it, which I will zoom in right here. And they break there all the time. It's always been a great fierce debate on why do they even put the stamp here in the first place because it makes it so weak. But here is the stamp on the Peterson pick that troubles so, so many people. But either way, this is all that I have. Um, and someone's asking about the link to the microscope. Um, it's a Sky Basic. Um, I can add it to the video description if you would like. Um, if you do look at my prior video, I do have it in there as well. But it's something I bought off of Amazon. It was a lightning deal. And if you want to find them even cheaper, you can buy them on eBay. But I think those will be coming directly from China. But I just want to say thank you to everyone that was able to stop in today. Let's bring up the chat box and see who we have right now. Thank you to PH Picker, Starry Luck, it's always great to see you. And it was really fun sharing your channel, Chris Capune. It's always nice. Lockmania, I'm glad I was able to stall a little bit long enough to be able to get you involved. It's always fun to have you pop in. I know that I posted about two hours earlier than I normally do, so I was really happy to be able to have you show up. Captain Hook number one. Um, let's see, Captain Hook's on a race to 1,000 subs. So I think it would be only fair if I... Let's see if I can get Captain Hook number one's channel um, brought up here in a second so we can share his channel as well. And then I want to say thank you to Swedish Lockpicker for stopping in. And I just want to say that this is a pretty cool thing to be able to share with everyone every single week. 
So let's see, Captain Hook number one is at 973 subscribers. And let's see if I can get that channel brought up for you right now so that they can have a really nice battle to And it's a really great thing to be able to connect with everyone every single week. Um, but either way, that is all that I have for you this week. Um, let's see what Lockmania is sharing. Um, Lockmania is saying, after you your last shout out to my channel, I got about 30 subs. And that's really cool. I guess technically we could add Lockmania into to the race to 1000. Lockmania is a little bit further out, but um, he really wants to do it because he wants to be able to start to live stream and being able to live stream um, with the built-in setup that YouTube naturally offers is a really great way to do Shout out to everyone, and I just want to say thank you to everyone that was able to make it this week. Jeff Yates, thanks for stopping in from the UK, and this is all that I have for you. So if you have any questions or suggestions, any channels, anything that you'd like to share next week, please leave it in the video description below, I mean in the video comment section below, and I'd really love to try to share it next week. I really enjoy connecting with everyone every single week, and this is such a fun thing to do. And if you enjoyed this video, and you'd like to see more videos like it, please consider subscribing. I love doing my community videos, doing how-to videos, and just trying to be a great member of the community. But either way, guys, thank you so much for stopping in, and this is all that I have for you this week, and I'll see you next time.